There are as many reasons to scuba dive as there are divers. Some dive to challenge themselves physically, intellectually, and emotionally. Others come for the pure adrenaline adventure of entering a toxic environment and dropping a few rungs on the food chain. And for many, there's the spiritual aspect, escaping the chaos of terra firma to immerse themselves in a womb-like saline world. Until relatively recently, these challenges and adventures were out of reach to an entire population, the physically challenged. Coral reefs, after all, are not wheelchair accessible, and why would a blind person want to do something so vision-oriented? It's like backing a boat up. In Denver, A1 Scuba and the Downtown Aquarium have combined resources to teach instructors and buddies the hows and whys of handicapped scuba diving. At A1, extensive classroom and pool sessions begin with students experiencing various handicaps. Then it's on to the Denver Downtown Aquarium to work on adaptive dive skills in an open water environment. Second group will get in the water, same thing, do a nice acclimation dive. You guys are going to stay in the water though. We're going to have you transit, uh, transition right into being paraplegics after your acclimation dive. So we'll take your fins off, strap your knees together, and give you those gloves. The Denver Aquarium is the largest aquarium between Chicago and the West Coast. The aquarium's undersea exhibit, the training dive site, is home to a number of sea creatures, including some very curious turtles. In order to protect them, strict cleansing procedures are followed before entering the exhibit. Now, I, now we're going to go over here. Students each take turns leading and acting as the blind, para, and quadriplegic diver. While a blind diver is required to perform most physical tasks, a para or quadriplegic diver needs more assistance with their equipment and even a hand equalizing their ears. Having donned their equipment, this able-bodied scuba buddy guides the blind diver into the water, all under the watchful eyes of the instructor who ensures that skills are performed correctly. Pre-dive checks are completed to the satisfaction of one of the turtles and then it's time to descend. But what is it like to be a blind diver? I found it very disorienting, but I learned to trust my dive buddy when I was being the blind diver as well. I found how to be a better dive buddy when I was leading somebody else. The training ends when the tests are passed and the skills are completed. Each student has their own reason for taking the training. Some hope to lead trips to exotic locations, others to reach a new segment of divers. One hopes to share diving with a handicapped relative. Ultimately though, if you ask a person with a disability why they would want to dive, the answer is the same as their able counterparts. Why not? <laughs> 